And a Sea of Lights has been a Fort Wayne tradition for over two decades. The event keeps growing to include more lights and more displays. Here to tell us more is Emily Hoke and Nisi Ramirez. Thank you so much for both being here. So you're both with the Blue Jackets, correct? Okay. Can you tell us just a little bit about the organization itself? So we're a nonprofit located in downtown Fort Wayne, and we help um, obtain jobs to anyone, and also we have a two-week training. So anyone with a barrier to employment, we help get them employment. And how has Blue Jacket and the Fantasy of Lights been working together for the last several years? So the uh, event was actually donated to us by Anthony Wayne Service, and for the past four years we have kind of taken it into our our own hands and created um, a better and a brighter experience for and, people. And this is one of your biggest fundraisers, correct? Yes. This is the How biggest. does these funds help the Blue Jackets? So all of our funds um, from this event, all of our other events, go towards the Career Academies, and that's the two-week program that helps pe well, people get the training. And what kind of things are new? We talked about bigger and brighter what kind of things can people look forward to? Yeah, so this year we have our graduates like Nisi um, working out at the out at the event, and that's new this year, correct? Mm -hmm. So Nisi, what was your experience with the Blue Jackets? How did it help you? It helped me um, get more experience in different job careers, and it also gave me a transitional job until I get placed in a more permanent one. Which Go ahead, keep going. No, you're fine. <laughs> and it helps build confidence when you need it as well. All right. And why would you recommend anybody to come out to help support the Blue Jackets or get involved with the Blue Jackets? Um, because it is a really good program to go through. Um, it helps inspire, inspire a lot of people to do and proceed their career goals. Like mine was event planning and going through Blue Jacket actually helped me proceed on to that career goal that I have chosen. And what is your favorite part about the Fantasy of Lights being involved with it? I love seeing the kids' reaction um, when they go through and they're pointing out all of their favorite displays and when Santa comes and visits. We say Santa's in <laughs> How many di displays are out there right now? We have over 110 scenes and uh, there's 11 new displays this year and two additional to existing scenes. And are people able to walk through or is it just a drive through? It is only a drive through event. And if there's anything that you guys want to let the viewers out there know about the Blue Jacket, what would it be? Uh, it would be to, that we help our community and we um, get people who have, you know, been at rock bottom or that they need help, we give them that push to become a better person, become the person that they were before their struggles. All right, Emily and Nisi, thank you so much for joining us. The Fantasy of Lights runs November 20th through December 31st. We'll have hours and pricing information on our website, wayne.com, where you can see this interview a little bit later today. We'll be right back.